I'm wondering how many geeks I can get to come over and dance with me. Hmm. Ross. Dance with me! I don't know how to dance. Okay. The dance! Oh, you know, I can't dance. Come on, let's dance. dance. This is geek dancing. You know you're at a geek convention when your name tag includes your Twitter name, and uh, mine is at jmariedirect, so if you're on Twitter, go ahead and follow me. And we're at Bar Camp Miami 2009, it's Sunday morning in Coconut Grove. So if you don't know what this is all about, um, we're going to learn together because I just started learning about Twitter and using Facebook for promotion purposes, SEO optimization, and this, all this terminology, I've just started learning about two months ago when I started GoLiveMiami.com. And Bar Camp Miami is basically getting together of all the people that are involved in the back end of web 2.0, internet, mobile technology, the people that make our internet, our websites, everything run, promote, cross-promote, and integrate. So it's pretty exciting. And we're learning together. I mean. Three months ago, I had no idea what a tweet was, and now I'm a tweeter. It got started in a bar. You know, a lot of people would come for drinks and, and talk about the things that were interesting within their industry, and, and that's really what Bar Camp uh, is all about. You know, this is really Tech Week in Miami. Okay, everybody, thank you for uh, coming. A lot of you uh, came from uh, Orlando, Naples. Some of you came from uh, California, Canada, uh, Australia. You, know, you guys came in such great numbers, you completely overwhelmed us. This is really a testament to the tech community in South Florida. Um, it's taken three years to get to this point. It keeps growing. We know that there's tech in South Florida and in Central Florida. We want to live here, and you're helping to make it happen. WordCamp is going to be in the uh, hotel. WordCamp is all about WordPress. BarCamp is all about whatever you want to talk about. And news innovation is about uh, the changes going on in the news media. This is an unconference. Basically, you make it happen. Uh, you're the ones that are going to be giving presentations. Uh, it's a self-organizing uh, kind of event. And you're going to write your topics that you want to present on your post-it notes. And then there's a grid on that window over there with time slots and rooms. we got to go now to Hotel Word Camp over at the Mayfair. We're going to do... Um, there's AdSense on your blogs, blogging for a living, WordPress frameworks, SEO WordPress. And then there's Startup from Scratch, which is us. Go Live Miami, we're a startup from scratch. So. Let's go. Um. Anyone, people who are missing it from the word camp in uh, Orlando gets to watch this one for free. This is a streaming uh, webcast service from uh, what they call a a jailbroken iPhone. So I'm basically streaming every single event that's going on here at uh, WordCamp Miami and uh, BarCamp Miami. There's a lot of techno geeks here, a lot of people that are really into the blogosphere world. What's your number one secret that you'd like to share with them? I think my number one secret is how to do a web-optimized press release. And what that is, is taking the old-fashioned science of PR combined with the new technologies of search engine optimization. So what you do is you pick two or three main keyword phrases. You include those in your press release as the headline in the first paragraph in the body of your press release. And what that does is it creates a web-optimized press release. You're making your press release friendly for the search engines. Put that press release on your website first, and then use PR Web or another Newswire service to distribute your press release. But by having it on your website first, that keyword phrase that you targeted in your press release is going to come up your website's going to come up in the searches. So we're talking about Twitter.com and everybody today has been tweeting. Uh, it's actually pretty cool because hashtag Barcamp Miami was in the top 10 for Twitter.com tweets. The key thing that I taught was don't be closed-minded when you hear things like outsourcing because outsourcing has always had a negative connotation to it and it's, it's changed with the, with the times and the economy and the amount of Americans that are currently out of a job. 
that you can outsource right here domestically in the United States. There's a lot of really, really talented, educated people who are looking for freelance work, temporary work, and basically any kind of work. See, even us geeks get interviewed by hot reporter peoples at bar camp. I want to know who posted that. That was posted by the Dons. Thank you so much for calling me the hot girl. I really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. And you can Twitter about me anytime. I love your tweets. Thanks. Okay, so we're at the hotel for Bar Camp Miami, and there's a group of guys behind me that have been congregating and talking about I don't know what. So I'm actually going to go over and see if I can introduce myself and hang out with them for a minute. Hi. 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 How are you guys doing? Good. I'm with GoLiveMiami.com, and I wanted to get a group picture with all y'all. These are the models for the day. <laughs> Welcome, guys. Where are you visiting from? Uh, San Francisco. San Francisco? Same. SF. SF? Yeah. So, Washington, D.C. I'm a D.C. person also. And I want to know who has the most Twitter followers here? Uh, Probably him. One of these two guys here right here. Uh, and how many followers is that? 14,000. 14,000? Yeah, my opinion is about 7,000, so you're, I think you're ahead there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. I, 2,600. 2,600. 2,600? I'm at 90. <laughs> I'm catching up to 14,000 by 2012, I think I'll get up there. I'm on TweetDeck, so it like tells me how many I'll hit it, like, by next week, and I think by next week I'll be at 99. I don't know. That's a good trajectory, actually. So how did you end up with 14,000 followers? Oh my God, I have no idea. One at a time. <laughs> <laughs> I earned every single he one of them. A lot. There you go. That's exactly yeah, right. And what's your favorite thing about about Bar Camp Miami? Um, amazed at the energy of it. Mm -hmm. You know, this is you know, we were at the first Bar Camp. Um, the biggest Bar Camp Bar Camp block in Palo Alto was about 700, and this was 800 and something. Yeah. That's yeah. really yeah. impressive. Yeah. And for you, what, what's your favorite thing? Like, what do you do? Why are you at Bar Camp? What do you expect to get out of it? Why am I at Bar Camp? Well, I'm here mainly for future web apps. Um, <laughs> but got in a day early. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry. Talk about a diss. But no, I, I, I love Bar Camps because um, they're sort of that ad hoc, a bunch of people getting together, talking about interesting stuff, um, and just meeting a bunch of new people that you don't traditionally meet in, in normal conferences. I'm at J. Marie Direct. Will you guys follow me? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Sweet. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. So I hear you're uh, Mr. WordPress. I am. I'm, I'm one of the five lead developers of WordPress. Been doing that. Uh, I've been working on WordPress since 2004 and been uh, had commit access, so I can actually change the WordPress code since 2006. So for someone like me who's still just trying to get my first page up on WordPress, is there any website or tutorials that you could lead me to? Yeah, WordPress TV, uh, WordPress.tv rather, uh, that just launched and it has uh, this sort of stuff like uh, uh, WordCamp videos, but also like tutorials. So if you have a specific task you're having trouble with, you can look it up. What's uh, one secret tidbit that you can give out to other geeks that are just starting up and learning WordPress? Actually meet other geeks. Don't just stay behind the computer. Go to South by Southwest. I don't care if you can't afford it. It'll pay itself back to you. Just, just go network. It's, it's all about making those connections. And that's really one thing that uh, I've been reading about. It's not just online social networking, but it's really taking it offline, getting in real time, and having the face-to-face, -face, which is what these conferences are all about. Uh, I was uh, live streaming video for the uh, news innovation track. So when you do live streaming, like where was it going out to? Twitter, Ustream, Blog Talk Radio, like um, Mogulus. Mogulus is the platform, and then I would promote it on Twitter. It was also embedded on my blog, um, embedded on the News Innovation Ning. What's site, your blog? GregLynch.com. I learned about um, interesting ways to increase productivity for small startups. Um, about data portability, I knew basically what it was with you know having data on a certain site and being able to share it, move it between other sites. So tell us about what you presented today. Um, I presented today on um, basically the newspaper industry and how the newspaper industry is dying, but I don't consider the newspaper industry an industry itself. I think that the industry is really the news industry. So I was encouraging people to evolve, you know, to bring it onto the web, but not also lose the people with it, you know, because print designers for newspapers have been doing print design and news design for years and years and years and years. So they have an experience that a web designer can't get. It's just um, encouraging collaboration between people who 
might be stuck but are looking to get into the digital era because they have a lot to contribute in my opinion. And tell me, quick synopsis, what was it all about? Well, the uh, title of the presentation was uh, Harness the Social Media Chaos by Implementing Standard Marketing Practices. Revenue, that's a key word for today, isn't that? I would think so. I mean, a lot of people are out there and they're saying, get me on Twitter, and get me on Facebook. But from the business perspective, if you're using these as part of your business, you have to understand why you're doing it. You know, it, are we trying to drive revenue? Are we trying to increase our customer base? Are we trying to keep loyalty of our customers? And by doing that, the actual tactic that you will use across each of those media will almost naturally fall out. So I'm with Ben and he's from Chi Method and he applies Eastern philosophies to business. Tell me about that. That's right. So what we do is take something called the 36 stratagems. So this comes from ancient Chinese philosophy. And so you take these 36 stratagems and then use those and try to figure out how they apply to your business. So I met Robert on Facebook. Actually, I tried to add him as a friend. Today he finally confirmed me after we met in real life. And I asked him what 31337 meant. He wouldn't tell me. I had to have someone go on their iPhone to look it up and it meant pointing out someone's greatness. It's a blog talk radio, a company out of New York City. Um, they do uh, uh, a blogging uh, application where you're allowed to call in on the telephone and uh, you can live uh, broadcast a radio show. Anybody can do it. It's free. You can go and sign up. It's, uh, it's a wonderful application, one that I've been using for two years. It just seems like over and over again, it's a great free way to do it and all of us can be uh, radio personalities. Oh, can I have the whole group say GoLiveMiami.com. One, two, three. GoLiveMiami.com. Oh, come on, with more energy, guys. <laughs> You're in Miami. <laughs> I know it's Sunday morning. <laughs> I know it's Sunday morning, but still. You're not endorsing something we haven't seen, right? Yeah. I'm on the website. Can you get excited about me for a second? So, one more time. One, two, three. GoLiveMiami.com. Go <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> Sponsors, pay attention. We've met a lot of great characters. I think I have about 20 new Twitter friends, uh, maybe more. I'm hoping for more. And we're going to be broadcasting this out to everyone. I'm so excited that I got to hang out and learn so much today. It was really quite a day, and I'm overwhelmed with Twitter names, real names, company names, .com names, new links and websites that I'm going to be checking out tomorrow, real time. I'm going to decompress, take it easy. And I'm saying that, but really I'm not, because tomorrow is day one of FOA, Future of Web Apps. So thanks so much for checking us out, and this is GoLiveMiami.com with Jaylor Marie. You go where I go. And today, Bar Camp Miami 2009.